Nina, uh, we've lost 1-0 today at home against Man City. Could have been a lot worse, um, so I think there are positives to take. But what are your overall thoughts on uh, what you've seen today? Yeah, you said it yourself. I mean, we it could have been worse. I think 1-0 is not so much of a bad result um, in terms of my expectations, at least personally anyway. Um, I think I was hoping for a draw, potentially, I think. But what I was hoping for more was a better performance to at least what we saw against Forest because, like we said, that was no, you know, no excuse. It wasn't excusable. Um, you know, we put out potentially what I would say was our best start in 11 out tonight, considering the injuries we have and Pep obviously put his best side out. I think our first half was really good. I think we set up well. Perhaps it was a bit uh, harder to set, uh, settle into the game. But then I think we did. I mean, Man City were dominant in possession. But when we dispossessed them, we were quick into transition. And we did get the ball up there a few times. thought Havertz was invisible in that game. I don't even want to touch upon him too much because I think that game speaks for itself. But I'm going to take some positives out of that game. I thought my man of the match today was Zakaria. I thought Dennis Zakaria had an absolutely outstanding game. And do you know what? Considering how many starts he's had I think he's had two Premier League starts now and considering he's had maybe about three appearances for Chelsea as a whole he's been sat on the bench for like the start of the season and there he is in a game like that of that much magnitude looking that well in the midfield up against a team like City I think is outstanding and you know what he was consistent throughout the whole game which I think was better because I do think other players did well as well but for example like Cucurella and Ziyech I thought they did have first uh, good first halves especially Cucurella I think he will get stick for it but, you know, Bernardo Silva and Cancelo, he did a decent job at making those fair interceptions. Considering most of Man City's attacks happened on the right side as well, I thought Cucurella did, did what he could have done in the first half. He was a bit lost in the second half. Potter did see that. He brought him off. But back to Zakari, I think he was making those passes into spaces. He was using width. He was even giving Rodri a hard time. And, you know, that's not an easy job to have. He protected the ball so well. He was very, um, you know, he, he just read the game so so well I mean I'm just blown away and in games like that when things haven't been so good for us you know it's no secret to anyone things aren't rosy right now you know we're sitting kind of mid table so we're kind of taking it game by game so with seeing performances like that then there are some positives to take equally Chico and Mecca as well I think especially up against a player like Havertz who uh, many times could have looked up and had a shot or at least provided some more service to Bamiyang who was very isolated as well in that in that uh, first half when he was brought on but to seize the opportunity and to have a shot like that he hit the post that easily could have been a goal that game easily could have been 1-0 and I, I actually I, think that that if we'd have scored that goal it would have been a completely different game and I think when we didn't score that's when I said at half time I think we've missed our chance and that's not being negative that's just saying listen we're not creating much we had a great chance to solidify maybe drop a bit deeper shut up shop and uh, obviously it just didn't work out. But just going back to what you said about Zakaria, that pairing with Kovacic, is that something you want to see more often or do you think Jorginho can slip into that? I mean, I think Jorginho hasn't really had uh, the greatest of games recently. His form has dropped uh, in comparison to last season, especially. We've seen a very different Jorginho. I think we are asking some questions if he does deserve starts. And in all honesty, I think that pair today in midfield looks a lot more solid, at least. They did protect the ball and they did make those forward passes. So as a pair, they look really solid. And obviously standing next to an experienced player like Kovacic is also going to boost your confidence because you've got that support there. So I think they look really good together. Fantastic for, for the time being, maybe try those out too I don't see a reason for Potter to drop Zakaria when he's putting that performance out there and bringing on Jorginho you see what I mean what about Lewis Hall I mean he had a great impact when he came on do you think he should be getting minutes uh, in, in the cup against City because he did so well last time he went up there yeah absolutely and in a game like that you can take positives like that that those youngsters are getting that playing time I mean Lewis Hall looks forward you know like on the, on the other hand Hutchison who you know made those back passes a little bit less confident there but you know that's not so much of a problem Lewis Hall he had a shot as well you know almost uh, had a, um, a goal there and I think that's fantastic to have that confidence and to take on you know players to, to, to take on their defenders as well I think is a really big hats off to him because he's so young he's got such little experience he's yet to, to, to prosper into that really good player he can be and of course I mean with Chile out and obviously Cucurella having kind of inconsistent games as well then maybe Potter could be looking at that potential you know left back sort of position left wing back whatever it may be there for Lewis Hall so yeah I think fantastic uh, he could be really proud of himself to go out against a, a team like that obviously is a big big plus yeah. big deal absolutely, absolutely. And, and speaking of a big deal obviously Hutchinson making his debut today for us a Premier League debut mm -hmm. I thought 
it was a difficult one against Nathan Ake, especially physically, but he was trying to get involved. I think he had some good touches, and I just think it's a case of getting more game time and yeah. just getting used to that level. Yeah, absolutely, and he protected the ball well. You know, even though he made those back passes, it's better that you you back make that back pass and keep the ball in our possession rather than give it away, you know, and be too overly confident. So, of course, his confidence is going to build up with games, and we are going to be big playing these individuals as well when they deserve playing time and looking at how we're shopping on the transfer market now as well we're looking out for these youngsters that are signing five six seven year contract deals we are perhaps building a team around the younger players this is this is Chelsea's future right now I know things aren't looking good on the pitch but this is what we are building so those youngsters that we're seeing there they are going to be the starting future sustainable 11 that we're going to be seeing Chelsea play and potentially you know contend for the title because you know things aren't looking good now but that's not to say that that long-term project that we are getting glimpses of isn't on a road to you know becoming what it is predictions for the game against Sunday against uh, Man City in the cup Man City again <laughs> yeah again um, obviously it's a cup game it's yeah. very different I think it's unlucky that we've drawn Man City again in, in the other domestic cup that we're playing in but it's hard to predict and you know what going out and putting up that performance against them tonight why not we might give him a I mean it's interesting to see what lineup he's going to bring out for that game as well it's interesting to see if he's going to make some changes if we're going to play that strong back line again if we're going to be a bit more offensive because I know Potter wants to stay in at least maybe the FA Cup try and get further in that especially because top four is looking kind of far reach so we're not going to gamble with that game I think we are going to go in and give it our best I'm hoping I want to say a very optimistic 2-1 win for Chelsea. Oh, you heard it first. Thank you very much, Nina. All the best. Thank you.